Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, December 28th, 2016. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. Reports from Moscow indicate that the main flight recorder that had been retrieved from the Russian jet that crashed into the Black Sea on Sunday has revealed that faulty wing flaps were to blame for the crash. The flaps, of course, are panels on the wing that uh, help lift the aircraft. They were not moving together. This is according to a source close to the probe. Could this cause the pilots to lose control as the plane was at a critical angle of ascent? It also quoted the crew's last words as being, the flaps, hell. The aging Tupolev 154 airliner came down off the Russian coast with the loss of all 92 passengers on board. Uh, the uh, Pravda Daily, an online publication, Life Russia, published what they described as a, a transcript of the cockpit conversation with a pilot yelling about a problem with the plane's flaps and then shouting, Commander, we're falling. It's impossible to verify the report, but both publications are known to have good connections with Russian security agencies. A series of earthquakes were reported earlier today near the Nevada-California state line, according to the USGS. The first quake was a 5.7 magnitude. It occurred at about 12.22 a.m. Pacific time near Hawthorne, Nevada. At least seven earthquakes with magnitudes between 3 and 5.6 were reported shortly thereafter. There have been no reports of any damage or injuries. However, uh, shaking was widespread. Pilots of the doomed La Mia charter plane that crashed in Colombia several weeks ago knew that its engines were shutting down several minutes before uh, the crash that killed 71 people but failed to notify air traffic control. This is according to Colombia officials. Investigators from the Colombian Civil Aviation Authority said that the pilots did not report a total electric failure without fuel until two minutes before the plane collided at 145 miles an hour with a hillside just outside Medellin, Colombia. While the crew had asked for a priority landing, they didn't indicate imminent danger. An investigator said the pilot spoke with controllers in a completely calm, reasonable voice. This was despite the fact that they were out of gas and had no electricity. Um, it's speculated that uh, the reason that they did not declare a fuel emergency was because according to Colombian law, uh, crew members found guilty of such negligence can face suspension or fines of nearly $115,000. The pilot of the plane was a co-owner of the La Mia airline. The, plane of, uh, the crash, of course, attracted widespread attention in Latin America because uh, on board was the Chapucanese uh, soccer team from Brazil. A Russian official conceded that wide-scale doping, uh, which apparently had affected the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi, did in fact exist. This is according to a report published in the New York Times late yesterday. The official, who was the acting director general of Russia's anti-doping agency, said it was an institutional conspiracy. She said, however, that top government officials were not involved. Uh, very quickly, Russian sports officials began to deny the uh, words of the acting director general, saying that they had been taken out of context. A train derailed in India earlier today, injuring 61 people. Um, this is the third significant accident in recent months that have caused concern now about the safety of the country's aging rail network. The train came off the tracks and crashed in the northern city of Kanpur in Uttar Pradesh. <clears throat> TV footage from the scene showed mangled, toppled carriages. U.S. chip maker Qualcomm has been fined a record $854 million for allegedly breaching competition laws in South Korea. The Korean Fair Trade Association said that the firm had engaged in unfair business practices with its patent licensing and modem chip sales. It also said that Qualcomm had abused its dominant position in the chip market. California-based firm rejected the ruling and said that it would appeal. Boeing aircraft was dealt a sudden blow earlier today when uh, Delta apparently canceled a $4 billion order for 18 787 Dreamliner jets. Delta had apparently inherited the order uh, in 2008, almost seven years ago, after it merged with Northwest Airlines. Uh, Delta quickly said that uh, the uh, relationship with Boeing remained strong 
pointed to the fact that they had recently ordered 120 Boeing 737-900s, but because of uh, switches made necessary by changes in air traffic patterns, i.e. customers, uh, Delta had elected to terminate the order within its contractual rights. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.